Hello, welcome back to Arid. And as you can see, um, strange footprints for invisible dinosaurs. Um, so I've just gone ahead and done, uh, collected all the stuff I needed to finish the game. Uh, if you go down that cave down there, uh, you'll get the um, stuff that you need, I think, uh, in the mass grave. And. What was the other one I did? Uh, where the endless water source is, the um, cave just at the back of him in the box, you'll get some um, uh, sulfur, because you need sulfur to make the flare. So basically what we need to, and you can only make the flare in this area here. So you'll need a, to make a metal frame, a flare gun mechanism, a flare and a wood handle. Once you've done that, just craft it. Uh, you'll need to make yourself a mortar and uh, burn that in the fire um, and that's it that's basically all you need to do um, as you can see now I have a flare gun I'm going to have to eat something um, I am starving I just can I can I pat that thing there we go <laughs> aren't you adorable yeah, stay up here, buddy. It's over. Um, that's about it. Uh, this is a free game on Steam. This is the conclusion, so you might want to play it for yourself before. Um, and uh, done it. What, what is it? About three or four videos. Uh, there's a lot. I've just constantly uh, just ran past everything and just done the uh, main objectives. Um, uh, I am starving for food though and I've got now if you um, get bandages you can uh, replenish your health uh, you can sidestep uh, dinosaurs quite easily so we're gonna try and do that now uh, hopefully I'm hoping it actually turns day what I have noticed that once you've made the flare mechanism or something oh, I'm going really slow now. this is not good I've run out of stamina I've got a dinosaur <laughs> breathing down, down my... I can't move. Uh, I think if I jump up here, I'm safe. Okay. So it still doesn't... Um, can he jump? No, he can't do anything. Okay. Hurry up. Um, and normally where you see, see where that collection of birds are, that means there's some good stuff to be collected. Um, that's supposed to be. Oh, so we can see there's turning to data on it. Boy, that was a quick change. I want to know where the invisible dinosaurs go. They're still there. Food. 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 I need to get some food. Yeah, I can't really do anything until that dinosaur, you know. Um, oh, I've got one right here too. And I honestly can't even move. I might have to see if I can eat something raw. What happens if I eat this thing raw? Well, that didn't do anything. I uh, might be able to eat some seeds, I guess. But that does a little bit. Uh, are they still there? Or are they gone? No, they're still there. This is just not good. Uh, um, I really don't even know what to do. Alright, he's come down this way. I want to see if I can... Oh, I've got another one down here too. Uh, there's no... Oh, there's some cactus fruit over there, so I'll grab some cactus fruit. Hopefully. I can't really grab much, I'm going to grab one, basically. Um, oh, this is bad. Uh, I'll have to see if I can get the ladder to get off. Okay. No, ideally not what we wanted. So, it's supposed to be not here in daytime, but as you can see, I do have a 
Um, let's. Maybe if I drink my. Up and at him. Right. So hopefully that gets my stamina going and I can outrun these di stupid dinosaurs. Uh, that's the plan. Oh, it's not a good plan, that's the only plan I have. Um, Alright, let's go. Oh, no dinosaurs, no. Let's jump over here. Hopefully the dinosaurs get stuck on the beams. Oh, hang on, it's gone quiet. Maybe dinosaurs have disappeared. No, dinosaurs are still there. Oh, there's a dinosaur in front of me. So, then I have to sidestep the dinosaur. Oh, come on. I don't know if they can come on the bridge. Can they get on the bridge? Yes, they can get on the bridge. Signs burning oh, up. Oh, great. Just, just great. Great, 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 great. Um, oh, I might be able to eat something here. I've got to take. I'm getting the shakes. Got to eat. Got to eat. Maybe I can. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat something raw. I think. I can't open it. There is something coming in. Here. Oh my goodness, this is crazy stuff. Hopefully you get stuck on the rock too. Uh, so you have to actually come this way to uh, finish it, but I'm going to have to try and avoid the dinosaurs. I don't want them hitting my health. Um, are, you, are, you, are you serious? Oh, at least you can drink on the run. Uh, and that was all my drink. Why am I... I can eat dinosaurs. Uh, oh, I should have gone to the... Do I have honey? You can eat, actually eat honey too. I'm going to get out of the sun anyway. Don't think a dinosaur can get in here. I'll be, I'll be really annoyed if it can. Um, then I have to... I, I've got nothing else I can do. Like this, this, this is literally crazy stuff. Um, can't go down there. What happens if I? Can I eat just? Can I eat that? Sons. Oh, I can eat that. Up. That will actually stop my. Um, Okay, that solved my hunger a little bit. Can I eat this thing? Yes, I can. Well, there you go. I did not know that. Can I eat bones? <laughs> no, you can't. No, I didn't think so. Um, okay. Um, do I... What's the torch like? Torch is pretty good, so... I uh, should have enough to go for the next part. Okay, let's go. Oh, please, no dinosaurs inside the cave. No dinosaur. Oh, there's a dinosaur inside the cave. I sidestepped it. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Don't. Come on. Run. Run, 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 run. Do not want dinosaurs. Are they coming? Or have they stopped? I don't know if they've stopped or not. Um, okay, so we can uh, fill up full. We've got a little bit of a journey. Uh, this is the final. This is where the, your epics kind of. Uh, oh, to, please don't tell me there's going to be dinosaurs all the way up to the top end. We are playing on the hardest difficulty. On easy, you wouldn't have the dinosaurs during the day. Um, normally, they're supposed to be only at night, but I've noticed that once you make the flare gun, they kind of they're kind of there all the time. Don't fall down there. I'm just going to refill. Uh, I'm going to actually just, again, totally replenish my health here. Uh, again, it's... I still got rid of... Oh, whoops. Oh well. Um, sorry, I have no idea. Is there any 
any food in these stupid things. No. I might check the crate. So in this crate here, you'll find the sulfur. And if you saw the last video, if you jump through that wall, you'll see an easter egg from the developers. Uh, uh, oh, this last journey is going to be a real pain, actually. No dinosaurs, please, 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 please. Well, that, that's pretty. Um, I'm going to have to have a look to see if there's any food. On the way, there's a uh, sort of a, a, a blank ending here. That might actually again stop my uh, craving. Can you? Oh, you got a pickaxe here. Pickaxes are uh, good job. That one's open. No, it's got wood. Don't need any of that. Just looking for food, that's all I'm interested in. That will still stop me from starving. Uh, you got a tent that you can destroy there, which is of use, no use. Why is this giving me stones and rubbish? Um, okay. That's pretty much. Always oh, stones. Um, okay, so we'll eat some of these things. Um, if I can get to a table, I can. Oh, look. Oh, well, they actually did the job. Um, and there's a little alcove to the right here again. Ah. Oh. Fatigued. There is a place I can sleep up here. I've already repaired it. I've, as I said, I did go ahead. I'm just hoping there's no dinosaurs in this area. I'm not sure. It would be crazy if there was. Uh, I might pick up some fruit while I've got a chance. So, just gonna say it's a little bit weird. Um, don't think there's anything really much down there. Uh, at least you get a bit of. Uh, the only uh, gripe with this is that there's an achievement based on the amount of notes you read. You got to read every note in the game, and the notes are all over the place. It's really hard to follow the stories. Um, they're not color coded or stamped or anything. Um, uh, there's a name or something like that, but I thought they could have done a better job in that. And there's no way to see which notes you still got to read and which ones you haven't. So there's no sort of uh, note locator. So it's a, a in all honesty, it's just a pain in the backside. Uh, might as well. No, that's a uh, thing. So I'm gonna have to sleep. Um, because there's no way I would be able to um, do the last journey. So this is kind of the last stop you get before you got to make the big trek. Um, and oh, luckily. Okay, well I'm not really going to need any more water so I might as well pit up the water. Um, and again the final I kind of wish I could I've clicked that mouse that I collected but as you can see the food is going up it, um, the good thing with the cactus is that they replenish pretty quick so and again you got to keep moving you can't just stay in an area for the food uh, the, uh, the amount of food you will chew through is just insane um, so anyway, let's go. Uh, oh, we got some more here. I might take that for the journey just in case. It is turning night time soon. Uh, so we might be able to pick up some honey along the way too. Um, where are we going? Um, I think it's over here. Um, so there's a secret location behind that tent too. 
This is basically a graveyard of it. And another note, but I haven't been following their notes. As I said, it is really difficult to kind of follow the story. We're based in South America, so you, you saw the thing that I uh, padded. Um, and it seems to be based, the story based on various, I, I guess, mythical laws. Um, so that's probably we, I don't, I don't know. South America must have an invisible dinosaur or, or something. I don't know. Um, I am thankful we haven't come across any invisible dinosaurs. Though. But as you see, um, I think the very first time you come up here, she kind of says, well, the altitude is starting to affect my head. Um, because, and, and I guess this was the big crescendo. Now, this was made by a bunch of students um, uh, worked together and hence why it was uh, uh, made for fr free uh, the students put their names down in the easter egg room um, uh, but uh, I guess we can have a look at uh, the place where they invented it um, and uh, it, it, it's really well done for a survival game They've, uh, there's a couple of elements I do like what I don't like is just a constant starving mechanic it's just not so um, you can and there's usually an animal here but it doesn't seem to respawn um, I haven't had it respawn but uh, by all means play for it yourself uh, it's free on Steam um, it sort of glitches out if you put it anything higher than medium settings for me um, so I wouldn't put it on high settings or anything so if you look at um, did I pick up honey yeah he picked up honey here so if you look at my uh, uh, hunger level there so it's not too bad but in case if uh, I find picking up honey for that reason uh, could save you uh, the basic thing you're going to have trouble with is just your constant hunger um, and other things that need I thought that was a painting there. Hmm. so this is basically where you have to go okay um, you basically go to that ledge and you fire off the flare gun I'm just going to go a little bit close uh, further on just to show you the beautiful uh, concept behind this game so we've been going for four videos now um, maybe a bit edited out because I'm sure you don't want me running around aimlessly looking for stuff um, I have basically just tried to get the main objectives done in each of the videos I can't seem to get up this is that because of stamina or just because I can't jump higher than two centimeters? I don't know. But um, you see the starry nights and everything else. I do like the graphical um, presentation of the smoke and the wind and just adds atmosphere. And the birds. And we come across where we started. So I've actually laid a rope and a uh, you'll need a rope and an, and a hook. Um, and then you can go back down to where you started and you can go there. So it's just a big loop. It is, it is a massive loop. You've been walking around in circles. You haven't realized that. Um, and I, I think that's great for a desert game. I think that's a, a brilliant concept, uh, especially for a survival game. Yeah, kind of like really I've just done a big loop of I've, I've done all that and just going back to where I started um, but the game doesn't finish there um, that's not the ending of the game the whole concept as I said is to make a flare gun and the flare gun can only be made in the factory and we've got the flare gun on us um, and so this is the ending coming up now um, this is the hardest difficulty so I'll probably get a few achievements because I've never done that. Oh, there's a guy over there. Do not know that. Oh, it's got stuff. 
That's what I need notes on. And he's carrying rocks. What is it with the rocks? Like, seriously? <laughs> Why would you carry rocks? You don't need to carry rocks. You are about to end the game. This will prevent you from playing any further. Are you sure? I'm uh, doing this for you guys. Like, okay, for some reason the game locked up. So we're going to try it again. At the conclusion now. Basically just walk out through this area here. Uh, holding the flare gun. Confirm. There we go. Please, please. It has to work. I did it. So if you click on Breda University of Applied Sciences, you will uh, find the, all the catalogue of all the various games that they've been uh, making, helping their students to create. All of them are free to play on Steam. Um, so, And uh, I thought we'd start with the um, actual website of the Breda University of Applied Science. So this is the uh, university where the students made ARID. Uh, there's two courses, uh, there's Creative Media and Game Technologies and then there's a Master Game Technology. Uh, basically, this helps, um, uh, it doesn't teach people how to program, their focus is on AAA games and uh, working in that industry. Um, for students to have ARID as their baseline before they even begin their development career, it really gives um it really puts high expectations on the students that uh, progress from that industry so uh, about them on their website they say Breda University of Applied Sciences is a medium-sized government-funded higher education institute more than 7,000 Dutch and international students from some hundred countries are studying at our institute we offer best Bachelor's and Master program at uh, professional HBO and acad ac academic level in the domains of built environment, data science, and AI facility games, hotel, leisure, events, logist logistics, media, and tourism. Um, so, so what Breda University actually introduces uh, the student students to is the Houdini engine for Unity. This is uh, basically uh, what they have their ex expertise in and it uh, gets the various students to, uh, to uh, understand how this program works and what they can do with this program. So if you wanted to toy around and get some background information this is a good place to start. So if you were to go to this website here uh, this basically will teach you everything you need to know on how to um, download, get started with the Houdini engine, what it does for the Un Unity program, and uh, there's your starter kit there, um, and you'll have your own tutorial on pretty much everything. Um, again, I guess the only difference is you'll well, be... Um, going by yourself uh, instead of basically uh, th this explains how the Houdini engine actually works um, if you read all that so that basically explains why um, it's used inside a uh, student facility and uh, where how the students uh, work together using this and from that build games like Arid 
And here is basically the inside of the uh, Brady University. Well, this is the outside, of course. And this is the inside of uh, Brady University. Um, international students stay on campus. Um, I think the uh, actual um, the, the courses take two or three years, uh, three or four years, sorry. And um, so they stay stay on campus uh, in dorms and um, basically go through the three or four year um, courses and uh, get a degree at the end of it uh, using the various programs as I said most of it is the speciality in the Houdini program and uh, they make games like this using that and as a team they um, Again, uh, they don't uh, start you from scratch. They uh, help people who already have a background in that. Um, and from there they go, uh, they're often given jobs in uh, Gorilla or um, Ubisoft uh, is another one that hires from this uh, university and so forth. So uh, they just, but as I said, uh, having Something like a game like Carrot as your baseline of your developing career. Wow, I can only wait and uh, it's exciting to know, see that these students progress further from there. It's a pretty high baseline to work from. Well, until next time, bye for now.